Mars is one red dot in the sky that has always captured the imagination of human intellect for ages. Humans have always made an effort to explore the unknown and it is only in last 50 years that we have been able to explore the planet Mars and China is the latest participant in this pursuit. Yesterday on May 15th, China successfully landed its first Mars probe Tianwen-1 on Martian surface. The meaning of the word Tianwen is questions to heaven. Now this mission is a very ambitious mission of Chinese space agency. Because it is a 3-in-1 mission, it contains an orbiter, a lander and a rover. If you compare this with the Indian Mars mission Mangalyan-1, Mangalyan-1 was only an orbiter mission, it did not have a lander or rover. That is why this Chinese mission is very ambitious, very more complicated and a bigger accomplishment for Chinese space agency. tn one was launched in July 2020 last year on China's largest heavy lift rocket Long March 5 from the Wangchen spacecraft launch site in Hainan province. Let's look at the specification of this rocket. Now Long March 5 is a two-stage rocket with four side boosters. The side boosters use RP-1 and liquid oxygen as the propellant and the core stage and the second stage use liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen as their propellants. The height of the launch vehicle is 57 meters and the core stage of rocket has a huge diameter of 5 meters and it has a 25 ton payload carrying capacity to low earth orbit and close to 14 tons to geostationary orbit. After the launch, the spacecraft conducted four trajectory correction maneuvers. To reach the Martian orbit, it took almost 7 months. It was launched in July last year and it reached the Martian orbit in February this year. When it reached the Martian orbit, it conducted global remote sensing surveys of Martian surface, basically to survey the landing site. On May 15, the spacecraft changed its orbit from parking orbit to a entry orbit, where in the entry orbit, the orbiter separated from the lander and the orbiter went into the parking orbit after the separation and the lander started its uh, landing sequence after that. Landing on Mars is very difficult and that is the reason half of the missions to Mars have failed. It is easier to land on Earth or Moon compared to Mars. The main problem is that Mars has an atmosphere. Now you may ask why it is a problem. The problem is that Martian atmosphere is not dense enough. 
If the Martian atmosphere was equivalent to Earth's atmosphere, we could have just used aerobraking and parachutes to land on Mars. But the Martian atmosphere is less than 1% of Earth's atmosphere. And that is why we have to use aerobraking, we have to use parachutes. And in addition to that, we have to use retro thrusters to land on Mars. Now to land on the surface, the Chinese lander took almost 9 minutes from orbit to surface. The lander and the rover were placed inside a capsule with a heat shield. When it started descending from the orbit, it used aerobraking technique to reduce its speed from 4.8 km per second to 460 meters per second. Almost 90% of the velocity was dissipated in this sta uh, stage. After that, the heat shield separated and the parachutes were drawn. Uh, it further reduced its velocity from 460 meters per second to 100 meters per second. We know that Martian atmosphere is not dense enough. That is why parachutes are not that effective, but it is used to uh, increase the efficiency of landing process. After the parachutes reduced its speed to 100 meters per second, the parachutes were jettisoned and the retro thrusters were activated. After the retro thrusters were activated, the rover, the lander, containing the rover over at 100 meters and conducted a surface survey to observe any obstructions and to choose a very uh, specific landing site for lander. This successful landing is a huge achievement for Chinese space agency. The whole sequence was performed in an automated sequence because uh, Mars is almost 360 million kilometers from Earth. And even if the radio signals travel at the speed of light, it takes almost 15 to 20 minutes to reach Mars and it is impossible to control a spacecraft in real time. That is why this sequence has to have to be automated and that is where the major problem comes in and that is the reason many missions failed. As it was the first Chinese mission to Mars, it was very important to choose a surface for landing which was relatively easy and plain. So the uh, rover landed in the flat region in the southern part of Utopia Planitia region of Mars. This mission is intended for scientific exploration and will prove as a pioneer for further future Chinese missions to Mars. The main objectives of this uh, Martian probe is for uh, study of Mars geological structure, soil characteristics and distribution of surface water ice surface material composition and surface climate and environment study. The name of the Chinese rover is Zurong. Now Zurong is a Chinese god of fire. The rover contains six major scientific payloads. The first one is navigation and terrain camera, which has two cameras symmetrically arranged, which provide panoramic and three-dimensional imaging, which helps in navigation and study of topography. The second payload is magnetometer, which measures the magnetic field of Mars. The orbiter also has one magnetometer. Unlike Earth, Martian magnetic field is not complete. It is in patches and that allows the solar winds to strip out the Martian atmosphere. Over billion years, the majority of Martian atmosphere has been lost to solar winds. The third payload is Mars Climate Station which contains uh, sensors to measure the air temperature, atmospheric pressure, wind speed and a sound probe. It also contains microphones which will record sounds from the Martian surface. The fourth probe is ground penetrating radars. Now it has two ground penetrating radars on a, the rover which will penetrate the surface of Martian uh, soil and it will search for water ice and it will also study the soil structure. The uh, fifth probe is Mars Surface Composition Detector. It looks for hydrated minerals by vaporizing the rocks and analyzing their composition. And the sixth and the last probe is Multispectral Cameras, which surveys the uh, elements, minerals and rock types from the Martian surface. Now the expected life for the Chinese rover Zurong is al almost 90 Martian days. If you compare that with the Perseverance rover, it has much more longer lifespan and it is much more complex than the Chinese rover. The Perseverance rover is powered by RTG or radioisotopic thermoelectric generators, which is a nuclear powered rover. 
and compare compare if you compare that with the Chinese rover, it is it uses solar panels to uh, satisfy its electrical needs. So it will be a it is a more simpler uh, rover compared to Perseverance, but it is a great leap for Chinese space agency. After this successful landing, China has become the third nation to land successfully on the Martian surface after U.S. and the Soviet Union. Not even Russia, when it it became a separate nation after the fall of Soviet Union, Russia has tried I think two times and it has failed. So if we go technically, the China is the second nation, second country to successfully land on Mars. It is a big achievement. Currently, there are 14 spacecrafts working on and around Mars. It includes eight orbiters, two landers and three rovers and one helicopter that is Ingenuity helicopter. I personally think it is a great achievement for Chinese space agency and it will definitely help in the exploration of Martian surface. At last, if you like this video, consider subscribing my channel, consider sharing this video. It is always great to learn something new. So keep learning. Bye bye.